Match number cinco at Bay Hill. We're kicking it old school today. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay Rich and Zag with On The Fringe Golf and welcome to another episode. Zag, what you got for us, man? Well, we're gonna do another match because you were upset that I won the last one. We're gonna do it with some old clubs. These are uh, some Pro Staff Tour Total Control Wilsons. God knows where these are from. I'm gonna say probably when we were about born. These are some serious hand-me-downs. So today we're gonna play number six at Bay Hill. Well, we're not actually in Florida. Uh, we're here at Tour 18. Number two out here at Tour 18 Houston is the replica of the number six hole there at Bay Hill going on right now this weekend at Arnie's place. Hey, I call that perfect timing, baby. Yeah, so we're gonna go out and we're gonna play uh, one whole match here. Winner takes cake. Oh. Ooh, I love cake. Uh, so we're gonna do a one whole match here with the old style clubs and this is gonna be a quick match. Hopefully a fun, entertaining video. If this is your first time watching On The Fringe production, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave us a comment. We're trying to grow this thing. Jay Rich, what do you say? Let's get to it. Let's get to it. But Zach, it's something I didn't tell you. What's that? Not only are we going old school with the clubs, we're going old school with the balls, baby. Here we go. Mm, beautiful. Put your Mac flies up. Let's mm. get it. What do you got there, Zach? A bag of a, a sack of balls? I got a ball sack. All right. Let's see what I get. Oh, some Wilson Pro Staff to go with my Wilson Pro Staff. Hey. Birdie incoming here. I have no idea where this is going. I guess I can slightly tee this up. We've heard that before. Check back to Black Horse. He said that and it went down the middle. Oh, that almost slipped out of my hands. Yeah, just so you viewers know, I got these clubs from a garage sale. Um, I'm not even sure all the clubs have grips on them, so we'll see. Well, it's in the fairway. Well. This guy just hits all the fairways with children's clubs, old clubs. Give him a Flintstone club. If you, damn need, if you need driver advice, I'm your guy. You need any other club advice, never listen to me. I guess we gotta share the ball sack, right? Yeah. Let's see what kind of hand-me-downs you can get there, Jay Rich. I have a Callaway Savage. No, sorry. HX Hot Bite. HX Hot Bike. All right. I'm well. not too sure I've ever heard of that before. <laughs> Let's give it a rip. Let's see what it does. Now I see what you mean. This is a piece of shit. So it might fly, <laughs> man. I don't know. <laughs> to put it lightly, yeah, I would say so. Okay. All right. I've got to say, this is the worst feeling club I've ever hit in life. The children's club feels better than this crap. So, uh, Jay Rich, what do you think of the, the first swing there? I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it? It's awful, man. The swing was bad, but the club made the swing better than bad. Batter, batter? Like, are we talking pancake? Cake? What kind of batter are we talking about? Uh, That's that Louisiana, the yeah. Louisiana vernacular, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, it's Louisiana. Please don't say Louisiana. <laughs> All right, Jay Rich, uh, we're about the same distance from the hole. What do you think we should hit here? You really asking me that? Yeah, I mean, if you're using really old, crappy clubs, what do you want to hit? Obviously, we can go with a three wood, right? But the damn driver is the same, so you might as well go with the driver. Let's do it. There's a beautiful look at the hole. I mean, look at that. Uh, for those of you not familiar with this hole, it's about 340 yards, I believe, when the pros play it to hit it, to carry it over the water to get the green. Um, so Deshambo, the tournament started yesterday. Um, I'm not sure if he's attempted it or not yet. We're filming this on Tuesday. He has mentioned in an article that he's gonna try and drive the green here. So that would be a hell of a feat. It can be done. Uh, John Daly made a 13, I believe, on this hole. Um, I've made a 13 on this hole many a times, yes. um, but he had a major uh, tin cup moment and uh, hopefully we don't have one of those again today. Hopefully not. There is the green over there. Uh, Zach, are you going to go for it or? Yeah, no, I'm going to lay up with my driver. All right, laying up with the driver. <laughs> I really am concerned about losing this club into the water. Uh oh. <sighs> 
Wow, that feels terrible to hit this thing. Well, hey, uh, if we take some positive out of it. It's in the fairway. You're in the fairway. So, cart path only, uh, lift clean in place? Yeah, we would agree, or? Oh, I already did it. I didn't even ask you, so, sure. Okay. I'm all about cheating. If yeah. you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Famous words of my father and <laughs> literally every golfer ever. Very intimidating shot, because um, I don't know where this is going. By the way, my miss is right. That's the woods. And if I go left, that's water. Uh. Get down, please. Soft, softly. Hey, that's right by the cart pass, so I don't have to walk that far. Sweet. Well done. Oh, well, we got two four irons here. Oh, really? Let's let's take a gander, cause. We haven't really showed them the bag yet. Ooh, which one should you go with? So do you want the old blade or the old ass midsize head? I'm gonna go midsize because I'm not a good golfer. Okay. Also, there's water in the way. I don't know. That's my thought process. There's Zach showing us how to cheat. You know, you're supposed to put a T there. Yeah. Oops. What'd you say? You don't give a shit? Oops. Okay. I really don't know where to aim this. I don't know how far this club goes. I think I'm gonna aim at this corner here. No real reason other than that's where I wanna aim. That is striped. All right, good yeah. shot. That's what we were looking for. There I am. What do you know? Another car path. What you got there, Jay Rich? I got 191 yards. I'm going to go with the five wood. You know what? No, no, no. We're going to make this interesting. I'll be right back. We're going blade four iron, baby. With the awesome grip. Plenty of life left on this thing, right? Awesome is a word. I don't know if it's the one I would use. A little out to the right. I should have went with the five wood. <laughs> you live and you learn, my friend, you live and you learn. We do have some exciting news to share with you guys. Uh, we have hired on a social media expert. So our marketing should be significantly better because we have no idea what we're doing, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. Again, if you like what you're seeing, smash that subscribe button. Try to get this thing going, let's go. Finding okay. out anything interesting there, buddy? 126. 126. I'm gonna go eight iron because I am assuming that these don't go at all. Definitely not. I'd have to agree <laughs> with you. So it is a little chilly later in the afternoon. God, I swear this feels like I'm holding a thing of ice in yeah, my hand. It just is slippery glass, just not no grip to it whatsoever. Thank God I have lots of grip strength from other activities. Going towards the left side of the green. Okay. All right. All uh, right. You're putting or chipping or something. Yeah. Texas wedge, hey, something. Par still in the bag. Let's go. All right, so there I am uh, just out of the bunker. Um, I'm pretty sure that's kind of a good thing. This is a shot that I'm faced with. However, here's the real issue. There's no wedges in this bad boy. There is not a wedge in here. So, I gotta get creative. Hey, while you're at it, uh, check out the grip on this putter. Oh, look at that. They don't make those anymore. I know. How does it feel, Zach? Uh, earlier I was talking about holding glass. This feels like I'm going to get the most splinters I've ever had in my life just from holding this thing. <laughs> better, better glove up, sir. Oh, oh, my God. All right, Jay Rich, we're ready when you are. So, oh. Oh, uh, are you waiting on me? I think oh, he's okay. doing some duck hunting over there. I'm going to have to try to get cute and run the ball through the bunker, up the hill, and maybe on the green. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if he's got it. <laughs> oh, it's cakey in there. That's going to be a tough shot without a wedge, sir. You know, I'm convinced if it wasn't wet, that shit was going in the hole. That's one thought. I'm not sure that I would agree with that one, but uh, let's see if he can't get out here. Not. Ooh. Oh no. The match is slipping, ladies and gentlemen. Jay Rich is having a Zach meltdown. <laughs> so I, I hit a bunker shot with a kid seven iron, right? Just yeah. making sure. All right. 
All no. right. I needed that like three shots ago. All right, Zach, the door is wide open. Well, I don't have my sick putter, so no reason to think that you're out of it yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that felt awful. <laughs> well, you know, it was awful, right? That's not too terrible. Now that I know how to hit this thing, that was my first stroke with this, so this should be better. Oh. All right. Well, Jay Rich, I appreciate you uh, letting me even this match play stuff up. I think that puts us at two, two, and one. It does. You know, I'm, I'm setting you up for the next real match, man. That's what that is. Oh, yeah. When we're playing with, like, actual golf clubs? Well, no one wants to see me win every time. <laughs> hey, guys, just a reminder, uh, we appreciate you for watching. So go ahead and leave us your pick for this weekend's tournament at Bay Hill in the comments below. Uh, we thank you guys for watching. Till next time, we'll see you on the Fringe.